so we are we're going to continue with the show. We've got uh, Minister Forrest here in the studio, and uh, he is going uh, to be uh, co-hosting with me tonight for a short time. My name is Minister Faust. I'm an author, community activist, radio broadcaster. I've been in Edmonton my whole life. I love this city. It's a major feature of a lot of my writing, and uh, that includes my novels. Yeah, I, I, I like seeing that. I like seeing that the artists who don't simply sit back and take the easy path or get packaged by the recording companies. You know. CGSR's The Terror Dome is, I believe, the longest continuous running Afrocentric news, politics, and culture show in the country, which is subtitled The Africa Old World News Service is a, a, a radio means of engaging the issues that are of importance not just to African Canadians, but to Africans of all parts of the planet and to many others. I have interviewed world-class figures such as Ralph Nader, Chuck D of Public Enemy, Ice-T. Uh, I've had a lot of terrific guests on the show and dealt with topics that range from politics and culture to the environment to the arts. I mean, it's, it, it, it's been a great experience. It's, it's certainly changed my life. I have two novels out, both from a division of Random House called Del Rey. Yeah, I write contemporary urban science fiction and fantasy. So for people who think that science fiction is about robots or women in steel breastplates or, you know, shiny rocket ships, but that's not the stuff that I write. I write stuff that takes place in a modern setting. Coyote Kings of the Space Age Bachelor Pad takes place right in Edmonton. It is about two young men who are too smart for their own good, who are caught in uh, sort of Generation X ruts. And then they meet a remarkable, fascinating woman who has a very, very serious secret. And that secret is that magic is real. And as a result of that, they almost lose their lives. My second novel is called From the Notebooks of Dr. Brain. Six superheroes from two generations of the world's mightiest super team cannot get along. They are ordered by the board of directors of their superhero team to go to group therapy. And if they don't, they're going to be fired, they'll lose their benefits, they'll be publicly disgraced and so forth. So it's a send-up of self-help books, psychotherapy, and the Bush administration. I've got other novels on the go. I'm working on one that deals with uh, in part the Somali community in Edmonton. And I'm working on a book right now with a psychologist named Dr. Gans Ferentz. It's called Become Your Own Superhero. Uh, writing is, uh, you know, it's all about telling stories. It's all about connecting with people and, and getting them to see things that, that matter and hopefully in a way that they'll never forget. I love that. Great. That was great. Great to meet you. Yeah, absolutely. So to hear, to hear the stuff around here, that looks